Welcome to another uh, QMI 1500 uh, tutorial session. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to all our latest videos the moment that we upload them. Okay? So, in this tutorial session, we are going to do revision. We will focus on question 20, 19, 18, and 17 from the tutorial letter provided for year 2022. Okay. So maybe uh, our latest videos, we can discuss some of the questions for the sub exams, uh, which we have from like earlier this year. Okay. So yeah, without wasting any of your time, let us uh, go straight to question number 20. Okay. The question reads as follows. Okay. I'm not going to read the end. Okay. Uh, brush Pro is a one-man paint business owned by Banele. If X offices are painted per month, Brush Pro's uh, monthly profit uh, P is given by the function. So they give us uh, the equation for the profit, right? Okay, where, okay, they're telling us now that where X is between 0 and 34. So that means they can only, they can only paint up to 34 34 offices per month, right? So they say use marginal analysis to determine the uh, approximate change in Brush Pro's monthly profit when the 23rd office is painted. The profit will be, okay, there's no B, or the profit will decrease by approximately 15, 57 rands or whatever. So we're not gonna read the, the, the options provided. We're gonna do the calculations ourselves. And then the answer will tell us what's happening. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Without wasting your time, let me move this aside so that we can have the equation. So what they give us is the equation. Okay. Let me double check. The equation is um, uh, minus x cube plus twenty-seven x square uh, plus one thirty-two x plus uh, 2970 okay so this is the equation for your for your profit okay but the question says we need to use marginal marginal analysis analysis to determine the approximate change the approximate change in brush pros monthly profit okay so basically what they want is to add the marginal profit so what is the equation for how do you determine your marginal profit so when they want an approximate change, which is your marginal uh, profit, what you do is you just differentiate or whatever you have, okay? So if you are given a number, like in our case, they gave us 23, but you need to read your question, your question carefully. They said here, okay, use the marginal analysis to determine the approximate change in brush, in, in brush pros monthly profit when the 23rd, office is painted so when the 23rd office is being painted so you need to use 22 instead of 23 that's what what they have already right since they've completed only 22 okay but be careful of the english sometimes they try to trick you right okay so what we do is we differentiate uh we differentiate the equation for profit so whenever you are given the equation for profit to get your marginal profit Okay, your marginal profit, uh, marginal, okay, uh, profit, oh, come on, uh, marginal profit uh, is always equals to, um, okay, the derivative of what, of whatever you had, your profit. So, marginal profit, you get your de derivative of what, of your profit remember what profit is profit is actually okay so uh we, we we just okay we're just going through the notes now so remember profit is uh your profit is given profit uh, is equals to oh my my tablet is not working as it's supposed to is equals to your revenue okay i'm just gonna write rev minus your total cost okay so if you are given a function like this that means they've actually dealt simplified whatever expressions they had for your revenue uh, minus your total cost 
okay so to get your marginal profit is actually you your okay chain marginal profit is actually your uh, marginal revenue minus your marginal cost okay enough about that so let's do the actual uh, derivative so to differentiate the first thing you do you take the, the number at the top let's say you have a, a like a fun a, you have a, a, a function like this one you take the number at the top you multiply it by whatever number is here and then and then you subtract one from the number that is at the top so in this case you we're gonna have an expression like this you, this is uh, your marginal profit okay so this is a sign marginal profit uh, equals or uh, 3 multiplied by 1 so if there's nothing here it means that there's 1 3 multiplied by 1 that is 1 we keep the sign minus 3 then you write the x this is this x then you subtract 1 here if you subtract 1 you have 2 then here you're gonna say 2 multiplied by the number that is a the coefficient of x in this case is 27 okay then you keep the sign as you can see it's positive positive you keep the sign okay then now you have 54 okay so that this becomes 54 and then uh, you mal you subtract one here then you have one so if it's one you don't write anything here so if you if you did not have anything here remember it means you have uh, you have one if there's nothing here it means you have one then you can say one multiplied by one by 132 remember the signs keep the sign then you have 132 132 then 1 minus 1 then you have 0 any number to the power 0 is 1 then that this becomes 1 so 132 multiplied by 1 it becomes 1 so the, the the derivative of a constant is is it's 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 zero so it's nothing so we're gonna have an expression like this this is an expression for your what for your marginal marginal uh, marginal profit so since we know that okay uh, we want to determine the the what the marginal marginal profit before the twenty third okay remember they were still painting okay use the the question says use the marginal analysis to determine the approximate change in in brush pros monthly profit when the 23rd uh, office is painted is painted so yeah we're gonna use 22 instead of what uh of 20 of 23 because the 23rd one has not been painted right okay has not been completed therefore our answer we're gonna have uh this is gonna uh, okay okay let me i think we won't have enough space here okay so let's go back to this one then we're gonna have p okay 22 okay equals uh minus three then we substitute the 22 wherever there's x right so this is 22 to the power two uh plus uh 54 then you substitute where there's x you substitute 22 22 okay uh, plus uh, 132 okay the answer to this is uh, take your calculators uh, punch it in and then the answer to this you will get is uh, minus okay let me calculate okay so the answer to this is you're gonna have uh, uh i'm sorry i can show you them when i'm typing the digits on my phone but oh, this is my calculator i'm using my phone to calculate it eh? plus uh, 54 multiplied by 22 okay plus 132 okay the answer is minus 132 okay so the answer to this is uh okay it's uh oh, come on that's okay it's uh minus 132 okay so going back to the question we need to look for for an answer that is minus 132 so minus means it's actually decreasing okay 
it's actually decreasing then they'll say the profit will decrease by approximately 132 rands so this is exactly what we got in this problem right okay so we are done with question number 20 okay so the answer is uh, where is that one okay okay this is the answer so the answer in this case is your number three so the correct answer is number three okay uh, decreases uh, uh, man. decreases okay let me not try that nonsense anyway because it's uh, okay sorry for the language okay my tablet is acting up the sensitivity is not as I'd expect okay uh, sorry about that let's move on now to the next question okay Oh uh, no, let's just end this video and then we can do the next uh, problem on the next video, okay?